Uh, does the government have confidence in Phil Hogan? No, I think he needs to, firstly, Susan, he needs to absolutely be really clear about his whereabouts and his actions over that period of time that you've been discussing there. The drip feed of information is less than helpful. And uh, I still don't think he, he understands um, how angry people are about this, uh, and rightly so. Uh, this event should have never happened, but it did happen. He shouldn't have attended. He showed really poor judgment, uh, at the very least, to to attend the event. And then the fact that, you know, the first apology really was a non-apology. Uh, then when the teacher can tarnish the Preston further, there was a more fulsome one. But then we get details of uh, trips to Kildare, stop off in Kildare. You know, we don't know the full details of it. Uh, the Taoiseach and Thomas have been pretty clear. Uh, they've asked him to consider his position. He should, uh, and he should still do that. At the end of the day, and I think all of us understand, he is an EU commissioner. Um, it's not in the competence of the government to, to hire or, or indeed fire. That's something that's up to the, the head of the EU commission, Ur Ursula von der Leyen. Uh, but, you know, it really is, at, at this stage, the saga is dragging on. It, it is, uh, it's damaging. And I don't actually think that um, like he's been a good commissioner. There's no question about that. But no one should be above, uh, above the law. You've discussed there just beforehand how my colleague Dara Kaliri acted rightly so and honourably and very swiftly and, and uh, resigned his job. Others have, have lost the party whip and, 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 and their own jobs. And it just appears to a lot of people that the only person who appears to be above any, uh, taking any responsibility for this, appears to be right now uh, the, the EU Commissioner Hogan.